Hey there guys, this is Purple Ninja Link, and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It has been a while, and I've got a bit of a story to tell, but that'll come in a minute. Um, last time... Last time, we spent a good... Uh, to call it good would be a stretch, but we spent two hours trying and failing to beat the Basilisk. And it was pretty much just sad times for all. Um, if anyone's been trying to catch up on YouTube and hasn't, well, found that stream yet, there's a reason for that. Um, I edited the stream down so it would be about an hour and a half long instead of three hours. Uh, mostly just to make it more manageable, less painful, and it was kind of cathartic to edit things down. But I discovered after I went home for uh, winter break that it exported without sound. Uh, now that I'm back home, I discovered that not only did it export without sound, I don't have the project files anymore, so I'm in the process of re-editing that, and that will be up as soon as it can be. However, since last time, I have done a bit of level grinding. And on some investigation, because I googled some things after last stream, at the end of last stream, I was about 10 levels below where people normally fight Aragog. Which would explain why I was having such difficulty fighting the final boss. <laughs> so, rather than being level 29, I am now level 39. I have confirmed that it is possible for me to beat the Basilisk. I have not really seen anything past beating the Basilisk, because I wasn't going to keep playing that off-stream. But, yeah, so it can be done, and it will be done. Additional fun fact I discovered while I was doing a little bit of research, this was the last game released on the Game Boy Color in North America. There is actually also a Game Boy Advance version of this game. I mean, probably a very different game because the Game Boy Advance was a much more powerful system. Which feels really weird to say. But, the point is, we can do it now, and we're gonna do it now. And also, the last stream will be up within the next week, um, before, well, once I get everything edited. So, with all of that out of the way, let's go fight us a snake. Ginny, please wake up. She won't wake. But she's still alive. You're Tom Riddle. Are you the ghost? I'm a memory, kept alive for 50 years in a diary. Quick, we have to get Ginny and we have to get Ginny and get out of here before the basilisk comes. He won't come until he's called, and we're not leaving. I've been waiting so long to talk. Don't you want to know how Ginny got this way? It's because she truly opened her soul in that diary. And a soul was exactly what I needed. She wrote and I wrote back. I grew strong on her secrets. So I gave her back some of mine and controlled her with them. What do you mean? Ginny opened the Chamber of Secrets and released the Basilisk. She left the messages, and she didn't even know she was doing it. 
but she became suspicious and tried to dispose of the diary. I was so happy when you found it. So I showed you how I framed Hagrid. Everyone believed me except Dumbledore. He let Hagrid come back as gamekeeper. And he watched me so closely I could never open the chamber again. So I left behind my memory in a diary to someday complete Slytherin's noble work. Well, it didn't work. Everyone's still here, and when the Mandrake potions are ready, your work will all be undone. My bloods aren't my targets now. You are. When Ginny had my diary, she wrote in it that you were looking for the heir. She wrote all about you, and about Lord Voldemort. She was completely under my control, so I made her write a final message on the wall and come down here. I knew you would follow. I want to know how you defeated the greatest of all dark wizards. How do you even know of him? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. I began to use the name when I was very young to inspire fear and dread. You see, I am Lord Voldemort. It's the name that would suit the greatest wizard of ever. Not of all time. Ever. You're not the greatest wizard ever. Albus Dumbledore is. We'll see. You survived the last two times we met, in your past and my future. I want to know how. I couldn't tell you. I know why you couldn't kill me. My mother died to save me. Yes, that is a powerful counter charm. But there's really nothing special about you at all, is there? We'll see about that. Wait, my wand, it's gone. <laughs> you mean this wand? What was that? That must be Fox. And that's the Sorting Hat. This is all that Dumbledore sends his great defender? <laughs> Aid me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Kill him. Ignore the bird, get the boy. Sorting hat, help me, please help me. Got her Gryffindor sword. In case you're wondering, I decided that. It had been long enough that I wanted to voice that again. Anyway, we are back to swing your sword to win. Now with slightly more damage and a slightly greater chance to actually do damage. But yeah, I don't know exactly how the stats work in this game, but... It seems that a lot of that... ...issue with being unable to actually do damage was related to how low of a level I was. You may have noticed that I have managed to do damage all but one of the attacks that I've made. All but two of the attacks that I've made. And that he is already in the red. This is about how this fight is supposed to go. I still need to heal up. But...
Gosh dang it. So that doesn't make it an easy fight. And it definitely still lacks variety. And yes, I am still going to reset instead of actually walking back through there. Because I need the healing items I have. I am actually glad that I didn't do it on my first try, though. It would be kind of lame if the first stream... The first stream I did of 27... no, 2018 was like 10 minutes long. I will say, this stream is going to end when we finish this game. I'm not gonna switch to a different game. So it might be a pretty short one. But... We'll be doing a couple of... new and exciting things in the next few weeks. So... Hopefully that'll make up for it. And with any luck, I'll be able to do a multiplayer stream again this week. sign that Fox is already poisoned. But at least he's going after Fox and not me. I'd like for Fox to absorb as much damage as he can while he's here. Don't bother. I should note that just because hmm. just because I am at a level where it is now more achievable to beat this thing, like I said in the first fight, doesn't make it easy. Painfully lacking in variety, sure. Easy. <laughs> no. I was really hoping that by random luck and chance I was going to get the uh, cards I would need for that poison immunity combo. But, that didn't happen. At the very least, though, I do more damage to him- well, I heal faster than he damages me when I'm not poisoned. Not much faster, but faster. Very well could be. No, oh, that was a crappy one. 
Oops. I should probably get rid of this poison before long. I really need him to stop hitting. There we go. I mean, the point still stands that getting into double digits on health is a bad thing. But... I'm actually going to take this opportunity to heal more of my life rather than... Poison right off. Darn it. I think one more hit might do it. Okay, another hit that actually hits. The gamble did not pay off. Also, I appreciate the fact that there is a copyright disclaimer about the flying car. Because it is a very specific Ford car. So welcome back to Are You Tired of This Cutscene? Here, have more of this cutscene. I would feel remorse about resetting, but really the one time I didn't reset before this fight, it came back to bite me horribly. So... I really... I don't... I've spent four hours... I've, not four hours. I've spent like, over two hours on this fight. So... Any remorse that I could have had for this Basilisk fight not being entirely fair... No remorse. Just want the thing to die. At this point. <laughs> if I hadn't screwed up the first fight, I could have beaten it before I left. I did, so I didn't, and here we are. I'm fairly certain that once, last time, I got him down to about this much health.
So the fact that at this point... Oh, well. Yep, there goes Fox. Uh, the fact that at this point, all three attempts have gotten down to this much health, and I was down to that much when Fox was still here, I mean, there's still nonsense involved, but lesser nonsense. Not that I'm not going to die from managing poison, stupidly. Excellent. This is fine. You mind getting a crit fail at some point here? Thank you. gonna hit this time. Because I'm not definitely gonna hit this time. Hello there. I'm doing fairly well. How about you? Excellent! There we go. Now I'm doing even better. It bit me! Its fang broke off in my arm. I can feel its poison. Thank you, Fox. You tried best. You're done for, Potter. Even that stupid bird is crying. No. I feel better. I'm being healed. I'd forgotten. Phoenix tears can heal anything. The diary! It doesn't matter, Potter. I still have your wand. And I still have Goddard Gryffindor's sword. Ugh! Got it again! This is, in fact, the end of the game. Uh, where am I? Ginny, it's Harry. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, Harry. It was me all along. Tom Riddle took control of me. I know, he told me. But he's gone now, and so is the Basilisk. Hogwarts is safe. Let's get out of here. Basilisk. Harry, Ginny, you're safe. Let's get out of here. Hold on. Fox is going to pull us up. <laughs> Harry, what happened? The Basilisk is dead, and Tom Riddle was the young Voldemort. He's gone too. What's a Basilisk? Who's Tom Riddle? For that matter, who am I? The wand backfired and erased Lockhart's memory. On the plus side, he doesn't know who he is, so he talks about himself less. But he's still an idiot. Jenny, you were alive. I was almost hoping you'd join me here as a ghost. What a nice compliment. Why, thank you. Look, I think Fox is trying to lead us somewhere. We'd better follow. Professor McGonagall. There you all are. You seem to have got yourselves into quite a bit of trouble. What's wrong with Professor Lockhart? He's lost his memory. Completely. Have I? I'd quite forgotten. 
Hildroy, come with me to the hospital wing. Children, Professor Dumbledore is waiting to deal with you in, the, in my office. Mom and Dad! Ginny! Thank goodness you're safe! But what happened? It started when Ginny... It started when Ginny wrote in this diary. It belonged to Tom Riddle, who became Voldemort. He took control of her. I wrote to him all year, and he wrote back. Ginny! I've told you never to trust anything that can think when you can't. See where it keeps its brain? Awkward dialogue breaks. It's fine. Professor Dumbledore! Ginny should be checked out in the hospital wing. She won't be punished. She was being controlled. Thank you, Headmaster. The rest of you had better go with her. Harry, you stay behind. I want to have a word with you. <laughs> I once said you'd be expelled if you broke the rules again. But... but... Under the circumstances, I take that back. You'll be given special awards for service to Hogwarts. So, you've come back, even though you're suspended. Actually, the governors called me back. They decided to ignore your threats. Hagrid is reinstated as well. So, you've stopped the attacks. Who was the culprit? It was Voldemort again. Controlling Ginny Weasley through this diary. Dobby has seen that diary before, Harry Potter. Oh, bad, bad Dobby! It's fortunate that the truth came out. If Ginny took the blame, think what would have happened to her father and his non-magical folk protection act. Don't you want to know where Ginny got that diary, Mr. Malfoy? Why should that matter to me? Because you gave it to her in Flourish and Blots when you handled the books in her cauldron. Prove it! Oh, we can't. But if any more of Tom Riddle's possessions show up at Hogwarts, I'm sure Arthur Weasley will find a way to trace them back to you. Come, Dobby, we're going. Here, you'll want this back. Why would I want this filthy thing? Come, Dobby. You gave Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. You cost me a servant, boy. You will not hurt Harry Potter. You will go now. Man, the Dobby voice is hard to do. Harry Potter has set Dobby free. It seemed like the least I could do. Now we have a special banquet to go to. The Mandrake potions are made, so everyone will be there. But before we go to the banquet, there is something I would like you to have. I'm really glad that it is actually a famous Witches and Wizards card. And I think that Daniel Radcliffe is still acting in general. It's the new Harry Potter Famous Witches and Wizards card. Thank you, Professor Dumbledore. Look at that beautiful 2002 sunset. <laughs> what do you mean? There's not possibly a better way to get this story than listening to some guy reading the lines in vaguely accurate voices in his apartment while generic RPG music plays in the background. <laughs> That is the end of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets.
So, next time will be somewhat of a special indie intermission. Uh, we'll get to that next week. And then after that, we'll be starting the next project. Um, I'll leave it as a surprise then, up until then. But it's one I've been looking forward to for a while. I do not know how long the credits are going to be. It is possible that that's the end of them. That is the end of the credits. Out of curiosity, what happens if I load back into the game? The game starts over. We are in New Game Plus. We do not have equipment, but we are starting the game at level 39. This is unnecessary. I have not played Metroid. Well, I've played Metroid, but I've never beaten Metroid. It's a series I've never been able to get very into. I've played Metroid, and I've played Super Metroid, and I've played... Zero no, Fusion. I've played Fusion. Um, I believe that was Silver version, but close enough. Um, anyway. That's possible. Metroid 2 is one that I don't have, but I will say that I have acquired another Game Boy Color RPG to play in the possibly near-ish future. Uh, so, look forward to that once that comes around. But, yeah, they're the same generation of Pokémon. But anyway, since that game is now finished, I am going to call the stream here. Bit of a short one, um, but I kind of figured it might be since... Well, I was on the final boss when I finished the stream last time. But yeah, next week will be a special indie intermission. Week after that, we'll be starting a new project. So... I will see you guys next time, and until then, I hope you have a good day, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.